We're going to start off with an India ink or acrylic ink wash for the grisaille. And now we're going to glaze it. So part one of our assignment is to do a grisaille. Part two is to glaze it to add transparent color on top. And so I have here a, a very inexpensive watercolor set such as um, you might have purchased. This watercolor set works just fine. What I'm going to do uh, first is I'm going to uh, decide what colors I want and um, this is such a bright image so uh, filled with light. I think I'm going to contrast a warm color in the background and a cooler color in the foreground. And so I can see my, my set comes with some brown and I think I'm going to add a little bit of orange to the brown. It's a little too uh, muddy this brown. And I'm going to add a little bit of water. Yeah. And I'm just going to let that gray from underneath um, add a like a, a feeling a tonal feeling to the piece. if I want to add, blend some other colors in here while it's wet, I can do a little wet in wet, maybe add a little bit of sunlight here. Let this dry before I do the colors on the inside. Now that the background has dried enough, for me to begin layering color on the little bowl, I am putting some green layers on top of the grisaille. And now I can start mixing some color. So just like I put a little bit of yellow to in, into that brownish orange to give me a feeling of sunshine, I'm going to put a little bit of blue into the cooler areas or into the shadow areas here to add some variety to the greens. And that's it. This is how uh, Grisai works as an underpainting that gives us our values. And what this does is it helps you separate chroma, which is a fancy name for color, from value. So in a way it lets you draw. Drawing very often has to do with values and it lets you separate the quality of value from the quality of temperature. So we have warm colors out here and cool colors in here. That's it. So here's the ink wash glazed.